Princess Catherine cut elegant figure in dreamy white midi dress at Grenfell Tower Memorial Service. On June 14, 2017, a fire broke out in the 24-story Grenfell Tower residential building in North Kensington, West London. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge joined bereaved families and survivors of the Grenfell Tower disaster as tributes were paid on the fifth anniversary of the fire. An emotional-looking Kate and William laid a wreath at the foot of the tower in West London after a powerful multi-faith service under the blazing sun. The royal couple sat in the front row of the multi-faith service, which took place at the foot of Grenfell Tower. Many attendees wore green as the color has come to represent the tragedy. Black might have felt too somber for an occasion that was not about the royal presence at the West London service, but honoring the people who died in Britain's worst residential fire since World War II. White, which Kate landed upon, was more hopeful and had none of the showiness a summer floral might have suggested. We stand a recycling queen. To the memorial, Kate wore a dreamy midi dress which featured black buttons and a built-in belt. The mother of three kept her style neutral and stylish with black and white pumps with a front strap and beige clutch bag. For jewelry, she opted for a pearl drop earrings and her sapphire and diamond engagement ring, which she inherited from Princess Diana. We've seen Kate wear the polished version of a classic button-down before, during the height of summer 2020 while dispatched to Sheffield and the year prior at Wimbledon. Each outing has seen her cinch the waist with a different belt and add another version of her signature sensible court shoes. As can be seen, the royals chatting with other people paying their respects and looking somber while laying it the large wreath. William looked smart in a sharp suit and polka dot tie which complemented his wife's all-white outfit. Flanked by children from the local area, Catherine radiated her usual professionalism and positivity. It's occasions like this, away from the pomp and circumstance of former royal life, and getting to the heart of local communities where she undoubtedly looks most like herself. The pair have long supported the Grenfell community and previously accompanied the Queen to meet those affected by the tragedy. Grenfell United, the bereaved and survivors group, said in a statement, Today, we remember the 72 beautiful souls lost that night to ensure their memories live on. With William looking on, Kate laid a wreath with white flowers at the base of Grenfell Tower to mark the five-year anniversary of the deadly fire. Afterwards, both bowed their hoods and paused for a moment of reflection while standing with survivors of the fire along with the bereaved relatives. Attendees marked the memorial with a 72-second silence in memory of the 72 victims of the fire, which took place exactly five years ago. Eight-year-old Aisha, who survived the fire, recited a poem she wrote called Never Forget. She said, We will stay strong. We will rise up as a community. We will fight for justice together. We will always remember our friends and our neighbors. We will always remember our home. We can change the past, but we can change the future. Never forget. The little girl smiled as she ended the poem, and the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge could be seen smiling as they joined in applause. In June of 2017, the Duke of Cambridge accompanied Queen Elizabeth II to meet those affected. Talk about your loss, promise me, William told the family at the time. Later, a family member told reporters, the princes were amazing. They really knew what they were talking about. You could see that they meant what they were saying. He and wife Kate also met with Grenfell survivors in November of 2019 during a visit to mark the launch of the National Emergencies Trust, of which William is a patron. The royal family has previously been involved in relief for victims of Grenfell Tower.